Many people believe that the fulfillments of the seven trumpets will happen right before the second coming of Messiah. This is not the case, as you will undoubtedly learn if you haven't already come to that conclusion at this point in this video series. You'll also learn that what appears in scripture to be worldwide catastrophes are in fact localized events. We begin this upload with the third trumpet. This prophecy is recorded in Revelations 8, 10 through 11 and reads as follows. And the third messenger sounded and a great star fell from the heaven, burning like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers and on the fountains of water. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And a third of the waters became Wormwood and many men died from the waters because they were made bitter. Interestingly, the Ukrainian word for Wormwood is Chernobyl. Chernobyl is the city in Ukraine where the worst nuclear accident in human history occurred on April 26, 1986. The accident is said to be the equivalent of 500 of the nuclear bombs used in Hiroshima in 1945. The disaster in the Chernobyl nuclear plant happened during a test to see whether or not the plant's turbines could produce sufficient energy to keep the coolant pumps running in the event of a loss of power until the emergency diesel generator was activated. To prevent any interruptions to the power reactor, the safety systems were deliberately switched off. A series of unexpected events, including a failure of emergency equipment and a power surge, led to a massive explosion. The first explosion blew the two million pound lid off the reactor. It came back down cocked, leaving the atmosphere exposed to a full nuclear fire for the next three weeks. The second explosion completely blew the lid off and shot radioactive material one mile into the sky. The wind caught this material, carrying it to Sweden, northern Italy, Germany, Great Britain, and even in a diluted form as far as the east coast of America. In the immediate vicinity of Chernobyl, the thyroid cancer rate went up 248 times. Soon after the explosions, persistent rain began and continued for five straight days, bringing the radioactive material from the clouds to the soil, then from the soil into the water surrounding Europe. Could the concentration of radioactive material in the sky be what John the Revelator referred to as a star that fell on the waters, poisoning them and killing many men? Those drinking the waters absorbed the radioactive material cesium-137. Cesium-137 has a half-life of 30 years. 125,000 plus people have reportedly died from drinking the water. Two million plus are reported to be infected thousands of which have and will meet an untimely death. Ladies and gentlemen, the third trumpet did indeed sound in 1986. The second trumpet is recorded in Revelations 8, 8 through 9, which reads as follows. And the second messenger sounded, and what looked like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea. And a third of the sea became blood, and a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. Again, recognize that these seemingly worldwide catastrophes are in fact localized events. Take also into consideration John the Revelator. This man was a second century person, seeing the events of today's technological age. His frame of reference was drastically limited to describe absolutely what he saw. This is a picture of an atomic explosion. This is a picture of Japan. This is the number of ships that participated in World War II. This is the number of them that were destroyed. Almost one third. So let's recap. And what looked like a mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea. And a third of the ships were destroyed. What's being explained here is the bombing of Japan during World War II. And although proving whether a third of the living creatures around Japan were destroyed and what John meant by blood might be hard to do, remember, John was in the spirit giving an instantaneous understanding of things. Though something is lost in this second century perspective interpretation, World War II is what is being described here. Ladies and gentlemen, the second trumpet.